Kentucky. It can be said that the mark of a great entertainment channel is Pedowitz. Mark Pedowitz, that is, president of the CW Television Network. Few executives in our industry have so perfectly honed the strong skills that Mark has in business, production, legal, and finance all combined. Those skills led to great success when he was the president of ABC Studios from 2004 to 2009. His leadership produced multiple seasons of successful programming, including iconic hits like Lost, Desperate Housewives, Grey's Anatomy, Ugly Betty, Castle, Army Wives, Ghost Whisperers, and Criminal Minds. And that was the perfect warm-up to become the head of the CW Television Network, where Mark's leadership helped change the perception of the network brand among both viewers and critics. For example, The Flash, my 12-year-old son's favorite show, binged it, was it for Halloween, all because of Mark. It's become CW's most watched series in its history. Then Jane the Virgin brought the AFI Award and the Peabody Award, as well as Golden Globe Award nominations to the network for the first time. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend star Rachel Bloom won both a Golden Globe and Critics' Choice Award for Best Actress in a Television Comedy. In the fall of 2018, CW expanded to a six-night primetime schedule. It now also has a top video on demand streaming service and a digital channel known as CW Seed. It offers short-form original series content. It seems to me that the real superhero is not Flash in this story, it might not be a character out of TV at all, but rather a man of character in one of the distinguished roles of his already distinguished career. Congratulations to our giant of broadcasting, Mark Pedowitz. First, thank you for watching it live today, this event. It'll be streamed on CWTV.com app later on after 12.01 a.m. Now, when I was told I would be, would be receiving this wonderful honor as a giant of broadcasting, I was both humbled and, frankly, surprised. Surprised because I can safely say I do not think of myself as a giant of anything, except being a persistent giant pain in the ass to those who annoy me. <laughs> and I am humbled because, frankly, I believe I am one of the luckiest people ever. I have been fortunate to have amazing opportunities presented to me throughout my life. And weirdly enough, I am now being acknowledged for them. I will admit I am not much for public speaking, and I have a bit of a reputation for avoiding any spotlight or even attending any events, such as this. My preference is to let the work speak for itself and to give credit to the ones that work so hard alongside me. So I accept this award. I do so on behalf of anyone who has touched my life and everyone who's had a profound impact on my career. With that in mind, let me say it is wonderful to be considered for this prestigious honor. It is such an incredible group of people to share this with today and honor those and to those who received this honor over the years. Thank you to the Library of American Broadcasting Foundation for this award. It proves if you survive in this industry long enough, someone might actually notice you. I can also say, I think my fellow honorees would agree, that none of us are giants on our own. We are here because of the people around us, the ones who support us, encourage us to grow, and to reach higher. The teachers and mentors who have lifted us up our colleagues, our teams, whose hard work and dedication allow us to achieve our goals together. And the loved ones and family who are there through it all, every step of the way. For me, I dedicate this award to everyone who's helped me become a better person and has allowed me to participate in an industry I truly love. So like Larry, uh, this is why, first and foremost, on my list, I must thank my fantastic wife, Carolyn, for well, literally everything, including how I dress. <laughs> there is nothing I have done in life these last 40 years that would have been possible without her. She understands me better than I understand myself. Best of all, 
she loves me despite my obvious flaws. She makes sure that I remain grounded and on the right path. We are a team, a partnership of more than 40 years, and one that will continue now and forever. I also must thank my father, mother, and sister, though they are no longer with us. They are always in my heart and mind for collectively instilling in me the foundation to love and respect others and have the ambition to believe in oneself. Now, none of us would have gotten very far without the guidance of mentors. I am grateful for every day for having worked early in my career with Howard Lipstone and David Gerber, Gerber who had the patience to teach me what to do and by my astute observation, what not to do. Their guidance early on was instrumental in allowing me to gain knowledge and learn leadership skills. At every step along my path, I have been fortunate to have the support of some incredible colleagues throughout the industry, from Alan Landsberg Productions, to MGM Television, to ABC, and to Warners and CBS, the parent companies of the CW. I have been lucky to work with some of the true giants of our industry. And now to the amazing team at the CW. For the past eight years, you have all made this part of my career all I could ever have hoped for. Your friendship, your camaraderie have meant everything. Your willingness not just to listen to my out of the wacko doodle ideas, but to bring them to life has been a gift. Together we have blazed new trails, and it's been an absolute joy to be with each of you day in and day out. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Now, on a personal note, I believe in attempting to treat all people alike. I believe in honesty, accountability, straightforward communication, collaboration, and consent, and con consensus. But most of all, I believe in integrity, something that has been shortly lacking lately in this country. My dad said the integrity of a person is key. It is the sum of a person. It is difficult to earn, quite easy to lose, and even harder to earn back. If the people you surround yourself with, with it have it, then your life is truly blessed. I have that in my life every single day. They are the ones who you honor with this award. Thank you. And one last thing, thank you, Neil Shapiro. You did a marvelous job. <laughs> I'm serious, all three of our children, right Neil, are obsessed with Flash, I'm not just saying.